Phil Bell's palsy year and um, facial palsy year. Uh, as uh, not only Bell's palsy patients have facial paralysis, but uh, from many other uh, condition, uh, named condition. Um, so today, what I would like to talk to you about is, um, and that, and that's kind of in reference to a lot of the, the messages that I get online uh, and people contacting me, leaving comments either on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, and telling me their presentation and what what do I need to do? And I just really can't treat people uh, via social media messages. Um, I can only do this in person or online during a consultation to be very thorough and making sure that we don't overlook other things. At the same time, um, everybody is different, heals at a different rate, has a very different presentation with facial paralysis. Uh, one particular branch of the nerve might be working well, another one not at all. and um, you know, if you're not um, if you're not a therapist or if you're not a, uh, a physician, you're you're not gonna know uh, what to look for and what, how to even describe it. So it would be futile, I think, to to try to give you, oh, this is the stretch that's gonna cure it all. Uh, first of all, that doesn't exist, and um, uh, I think even more so if you have already synkinesis. Um, synkinesis is not treatable with one stretch, one technique, one type of massage, one uh, miraculous piece of equipment, that is not a thing. Um, certainly not electrical stimulation, but um, synchronesis uh, and facial paralysis, the condition needs to be assessed fully. Um, uh, your, your movement needs to be analyzed to see uh, what is actually moving and what is not. Is there any compensation? Uh, are you having any other symptoms while um, while performing your per, uh, specific facial movement? Um, what kind of vectors uh, are involved in regards to uh, a specific movement? So, for example, if you have synchronesis and you're trying to smile, there's a lot of different vectors that are pulling and preventing your smile. And that um, somebody that is trained will be able to um, to analyze and tell you what to do, how to address that. Uh, and then uh, later on also learning how to delink those muscles. Now this is really, um, really what the treatment for synchronous is about uh first uh treating soft tissue mobilization and then and then uh along with a lot of patient education and then um really addressing through facial neuromuscular re-education uh very specific movement in a specific range at a specific speed uh that is extremely different than any other type of rehab for the rest of the body so this is a very specific field very specific rehab and you need somebody that is specifically trained to help you with that and um uh, i and along with a lot of other colleagues uh, some that i've met uh some that i've met uh last week um in california during the facial nerve symposium and, um, and we are at there, uh, hard to find at times, but uh, we are uh, there. And uh, I've met a lot of uh, surgeon, um, face and head surgeon at this symposium that also we're working closely with, um, with facial therapists. So uh, we are there, we are here to help you. Uh, we are not a uh, unicorn, we do exist and you need to know that um, and um, get the help that you deserve. Have a great facial palsy awareness week. Take care.